yaddy, 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 say that. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lila Faces E, what a thing to be is free. Free from the judgment of others. So if y'all judge me on my videos, it ain't the space, baby, that energy is not coming through. Okay, so yeah, um, welcome back to this Move Into Florida series. This is part three of the series, and um, yeah, like you guys have seen me go through so much, so I'm so excited to keep this series going and to show you guys like where I'm at now and where I'm going to be in the future. So, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me you guys your favorite part. See you later. Today is June 10th. I'm looking skinny on the bitch. Mommy. What? I'm not your baby anymore. You're not my baby no more. A pirate. You're a pirate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's stereotyping a pirate. He like this. First of all, all pirates don't have one eye. Don't be pyrophobic. That's how people be. <laughs> I still got the same clothes as yesterday, but I did take a shower accidentally. Uh, moving into my friend's old place. She's moving in her boyfriend. And I put all my clothes over here yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, I read. Stop. So when I took a shower, I didn't have any clothes changed. Hey. I remember when I had first said no, I could touch my stomach and feel my ass and stuff. Really? Yeah. Girl, that sounds crazy. It did. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so we're going to go to the protest today, and I'm so excited. I haven't, I've been to two protests already, but, um, so it's just been too strenuous to keep going to these protests, and I really, really, really appreciate everyone who does not have the attitude like me even i've been out there two days and but if i didn't have my son i'd be out there more because it's a lot of walking for one for two noah just complains 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 and we're in florida so it's hot and they picked the protest like during the hottest time at like fucking two in the afternoon and shit so it'd be so hot um, and I'm definitely not taking him out there at night because it gets rowdy as fuck. So I really do appreciate everybody that's gone, that has been going, um, and taking their kids out there. Cause the two times I went, I did take Noah. The second time I went, we went out there, we handed out stuff to the homeless people. We handed out stuff to the protesters. I mean, it was a beautiful thing. And we walked miles y'all. So I'm excited to get back out there today. One of my biggest things was, were like, was like, I don't want to just be protesting. I want to be proactive. And even though protesting is like in the middle of being proactive, um, you still have to do things outside of protesting. Like we really have to change this shit. So yeah, this is like day three or day four of um, vlogging. I'm a mosquito bitten. Well, y'all, I had to come in here and say guilty on all three counts, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Hold that white man accountable. <laughs> What's popping? Today's gonna be so fun. It's June 10th. It feels like, I, like, oh my God. This shit is beautiful. Y'all don't understand. I feel good. I... Life is amazing. But life is amazing. I love my life. After yesterday, I was just so fucking depressed, right? Like, I was really depressed yesterday. And that shit is so crazy. And that's why I be saying, like, like, times like this when I be feeling good. And then one day I just have a bad day. And I just feel really down and depressed. And I just wake up that way. And it just seems like a, a it just seems, I just have, uh, it's just perspective. And that shit is crazy. So I was really depressed yesterday and today I just feel so good like it feels so good to be alive and yet I was just so depressed yesterday sleep does the mind body and soul very very good I promise you sleep and just thinking and meditating and whatever centering yourself does the mind good however you center yourself I just can't even believe I said I feel good today and I felt so shitty 
yesterday. Like, I was crying, like, all fucking day. It's crazy, y'all. Y'all out there with depression, stay safe. I promise you, stay fucking safe. You like spicy? And we got veggie patty and cocoa bread. <laughs> so good. I feel so thankful for one, my friend Tiki, who let us move in here. For two, his eyebrows look kind of good. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, for a while. For three, for my stinky. Mommy. For four. Hmm? Oh, my food. Here it is. Here it is. That's a future YouTuber right there. Thankful for life. Hey guys, we got a very busy day today. We just got our truck, right, Saint? Why? Our van. So now we're about to go move our stuff out of the story so we can move it into the house. I got a bunch of things to do today. Like, it's just crazy madness. <laughs> Stuff and that was pretty difficult. Well, it wasn't difficult, but it's hot. Oh, shit. Okay, I finally got back to the house. I dropped some Powerade. I went shopping and spent probably like $700 today. Five hundred dollars. Mm. Buy me a new phone. I had to buy a new phone, man. This phone I'm recording on right now is broken, and my mama says she's gonna take it off. Well, I thought I was not paying the bill because the way that she has to me for that motherfucking bill all the time, not paying it. So I got my own one, and it's cheaper than I when I was with her anyway. But I did have to go ahead and buy this phone straight out, or um, I only owe like. Fucking 100. Y'all, I have officially finished taking my things out of storage. And the back of the trunk is empty. We are on our way to turn this motherfucker right back in. Um, yeah, like, talk to the guys. All around, bro. I wonder if they want me to back this shit in there. I'm not really good at that. Mommy, I like that. I don't. 
Now it's time for clothes. shit going on do y'all think like people need to take mental evaluations before going to work i'm so glad i don't have on no makeup because listen Ooh. because i'm just like earlier i had a white uber i mean a lyft driver and i was getting in the car with my black lives matter poster and i'm like fuck like how do i know he's not a racist and i'm in and i'm and i got my son like i'm a little bit more just I'm a little bit more defenseless versus if I was like by myself. I don't know. I just felt like not crazy, but I felt I was like, oh my god, like what if he's a racist? And I gotta get in this car with my Black Lives Matter thing. What a racist. Let's what? Let's what, Daddy? Mister, I'm not Daddy. Hey, my mom being Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> He was hungry, wasn't he? I knew he was hungry. You trying to lie and say you wasn't hungry. Mommy, 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 yeah, we definitely got a new car on the ass. Yes. I got payments, y'all. But you know what? A bitch is an adult now. Like, yo, I'm fucking grown as fuck. Let's get this thing popping. I definitely got a new car. I'm so happy. So grateful. Thank you. <clears throat> it's the first day me and my baby officially riding around the motherfucking act. <laughs> Bam, baby, bam. Now, today should be a good day. You know, I'll schedule some appointments for some daycare. So, it's back. I'm back in the rat race, y'all. I'm back in the rat race. I'm pretty much back at square one as far as financial. So, you're really about to see me come up in the best way. Okay. And so unforgiving. Going hard. Like... I really just need to get this car, and that was just 
time to just get everything else on the road and it's gonna be a lot of sleepers and lights probably not because i go to sleep anyway i need to start staying up but it's about to be a lot of hustling like bitch got car payments bitch got car insurance a bitch got um i gotta switch over license switch over the tag plates okay get license plates tags and buy furniture like i can see so much money just getting drained out of my pocket and somebody else's pocket some nigga from twitter so yeah I gotta get juicers, blenders. I don't have no blender, y'all. So I can make my smoothies, like, problem. So I gotta get all of that. I'm manifesting something. Yeah. I'm manifesting money. Yeah. I'm manifesting money. Yeah. Okay, on my way to the dealership, as you can see, the service to B1 is the door, this door right here won't lock. So many things wrong with this car. Hello, it's your princess again. So, small little story time. I bought this car, this Acura, I think it was like a 2016 Acura. It was like, literally supposed to be like $11,000, but it ended up being like $17,000. At that look at the paperwork and everything, I put down like I can't remember the down payment I put down but yeah they just totally screwed me over in paperwork I mean sent fuck my credit up because they sent to this day to this day I feel like not too long ago I was getting emails saying that I was getting denied for um for a financial payments and stuff like that because they sent my credit score and stuff to so many different people to try to get me set up for payments or try to get me finance and stuff like that and that shit fucks up your credit so yeah and they were just playing games with me the whole time and I had this screaming baby and I was there all day long and it was just such a long process and I never bought a car before and it was horrible after reading James Ramsey, I would never do that again. But yeah, so I ended up going back there to get something fixed on a car that they promised me that they would get fixed. And they were not trying to fix it and a whole bunch of different shit. And then, like, as time went on, I had the car for maybe, like, four days. As time went on, I just thought it was just heavy on my mind. I was just negative, negatively thinking about this car. Like, oh, my God, I signed up for something I am not ready for and I done got fucked over so I ended up going there one day, flipping shit, cussing their motherfucking asses out. Like, literally, like, I'm not the type of person that call corporate. I'm not the type of person that asks to be your manager or anything like that. I'm either hella nice or I'm pissed off and, like, hella emotional about it. Not trying to get your manager or nothing, but, like, just coming at you. Just coming at these people, like fucking crazy and y'all know like once you buy a car it's no refunds but they ended up refunding me because they know they was fucking me over i'm like y'all know y'all fucking me over and i swear to god y'all see my bank account my nigga you see my bank account you know what i'm about you know i'm not broke and you know i can go get a lawyer so which which route are you guys trying to take period which one y'all trying to take so yeah they ended up refunding me and that's that. It was a very funny story. And the guy that you guys will see in the next clip that I said, is he was sweet. He was my friend. He was one of the car associates. And he admitted, like, oh, yeah, like, sometimes they be doing some fucked up shit and all this stuff. I'm like, yeah. Like, the car fax was all fucked up. And, I mean, all of this shit. Like, they was just lying. And I had footage of the shit, but I deleted it because I was like, this is just a negative time in my life. And I just deleted it. But, yeah, back to the video, guys. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I'm on. I'm on. Is it
Shooting fireworks. Woo! Wow. Yeah. And that's that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Stay blessed.